What's up YouTubers? Today I'm going to do a short video on Nancy Degas. She was the uh, nanny of the Bronte sisters. So it's going to be a short movie. Uh, we'll do a quick journey and go to a grave. And I've got MPRs. Hi there. So we're just heading towards uh, Thornton obviously to Emily's where the uh, Bronte sisters were born. That's right, yes. And on the way just come across this plaque. That's right, welcome to Thornton, birthplace of the Brontes. Uh, and we're on Thornton, doesn't it? Yeah, really nice. Yeah. And we're on Thornton Road. So Market Street, this is where it all happened. Yeah, they have. Catholic Bronte came to and uh, where some of the children were born. Um, and this is also where, where Nancy looked after the children. Um, and you can see quite clearly it mentions the birth, yeah. the birthplace of the Bronte. We've actually done a video on this plaque, so if you check our video out, uh, the plaque was installed sometime last year. And it all started in uh, 1816 when uh, Nancy came and uh, helped the uh, Bronte sisters out. And let's have a look at this plaque here. So on the side of the house we have a, a plaque. So in the hours, around about 1820, the, the family outgrew the house and they moved to Haworth, which will be our next stop, yeah. Haworth Parsonage. Yeah, and I just want to mention that, uh, that there's a fireplace in here. Right. Where uh, at least one of the children was born. Yeah, in here, yeah. Right, yeah, and that seems to be, I understand, on, on this side of the building. Right. And it's, it's fascinating that you know, we're looking through a window where they would have lived in, yeah. this, in this area. Yeah. All of all the uh, Bronte sisters would have been here. And there's plenty of cobble roads near around. Yeah, and I would have walked on, on them and... Someday we'll pop by and see if we can get access to this uh, yeah. fireplace. You know? And there are bits of old furniture kicking around still, I believe. Yeah, I understand so, I understand so. Yeah. So, I've just noticed on top of this door here, JAS18 or 2, if any of the viewers are... Uh, subscribers know what that means. Uh, there's some experts out there on the Bronte, you might know. Mm. We're looking down these, these things here, whatever this is. Yeah. Very interesting. So it is a private residence, so we'll just uh, slowly we'll find our way out of here. Yeah, right, yeah. Cobble roads, plenty of cobble roads here. Right, talking of cobble roads, we've come across one here that's loose. Now look how deep these things are. Yeah, there's one even. Oh, I'll just move out of the way, I've got a shadow. <laughs> right. That's pretty deep, that, isn't it? Yeah, you can just put this in. Gives yeah. you an idea. I'll find some pen. So it's, it's quite deep, isn't it, Riaz? What about that, that one across there? just surface mounted yeah. you know like one inch uh, uh, bits of stone they're actually very you know substantial they're pieces bit, of stone aren't they they're a bit dangerous aren't they actually in Haworth Parsonage. Yes, and this is where they moved to from Thornton uh, in about 1820. And uh, you can see it's, it's a substantial house, isn't it? Yeah. Very nice looking house as well. 
and this is where the literacy work started. That's right, and where Nancy looked after them too. And plus, her sister Sarah Degar came as well. That's right, and helped them, helped look after them. Right, it is now a museum. Can we capture the frontage on this? Yeah, let's, let's have a so, walk. Uh, It's a beautiful house. I'll be honest with you, it's the first time I've actually seen it properly. First hand. It is beautiful, isn't it? I'm sure they all loved it here, didn't they? And I just find it fascinating that, that they all came from the house in front to here. Yeah, yeah. To the whole family. And obviously they would have all played in here and walked around here and, and Nancy would have uh, helped them here as well. When Patrick arrived here, he became the curator of the church that's behind us. Right. Um, obviously that church has been rebuilt from the one that uh, yeah. he, he was a curator of. Again, uh, if you look at some of our videos, we've actually done uh, the uh, winding of the uh, clock right, in that yeah. tower of the... Yeah, and again, he, that is the same as it was in those days. And yeah. the path down to would have gone up the same steps that we walked up yeah. to wind that clock. Um, which is quite a fascinating yeah. thought. This was the site of the gate leading to the church used by the Bronte family and through which they were carried to their final resting place in the church. Right. And let's have a final look of the house from a distance. It's, uh, it's unbelievable that uh, history is made here. All over the world. Yeah. Right. And there's the infamous graveyard. It's quite a pretty place, isn't it? Yeah. So, I've landed in the Undercliff Cemetery. A cemetery that always brings me back because there's a lot of local history buried away here. So, let's find Nancy Degas' uh, unmarked grave. I've got a rough idea where it is. In fact, it's right in front of me here. There you go. You would not believe this is a unmarked grave of such a prominent character in the Bronte history. Seem to be some fresh flowers here, so obviously it's been attended to. Now there is a campaign going on where the Undercliff Cemetery are uh, trying to raise £3,000. I think they have actually raised £3,000 but obviously every bit helps. And soon there will be a proper presentation and an official headstone that will be laid on this unmarked grave of Nancy Degas. And also the funding will go to the um basically the safety around this area as well 
so tourists and visitors can actually come and pay the uh, tribute to Nancy Degas and there's a few ways you can actually um, donate the money to help out if you're interested um, one is if you go to undercliffcemetery.co.uk and don donate there secondly there's a book out called the remarkable story of nancy degas charlotte bronte's nurse and that's available in quite a few bookstores around howarth howarth parsonage uh, emily's in thornton and you can also donate through there just buy a book and the book itself is quite a detailed story of uh, nancy uh, <coughs> how she got involved and how she helped the uh, Bronte sisters and a bit about a bit about her background and how she actually ended up like a pauper's uh, grave such a prominent person but look it's unmarked and luckily the Undercliff uh, Cemetery staff have managed to find it it's fascinating really that this is a major piece of, of Bronte history absolutely that, yeah uh, you know that uh, and then Nancy looked after the children. Yeah, yeah. You know, so she's physically touched them. She's yeah. probably hugged them, kissed them. Yeah. Um, and it's uh, it's it's very uh, humbling to be here, a part of British history. And this this again cements the whole area in terms of its historical significance. Yeah. You know, Bradford is a is a place of of the Brontes, and it should be always remembered that um, you know these people uh, had a place. Uh, you know they 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 have a great, you know a great place in history. Absolutely, yeah. I should never be forgotten. Yeah, and and the other interesting twist to this story is that they found her mother as well buried in this grave graveyard, and um, plus her four sisters, which I don't know the location, but keep a look out on the uh, Undercliff website. Yeah, that probably includes Sarah that was working with her. That's in right. Yeah. The yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so you know, if anybody can help. Um, you know, under the cemetery with any sponsorships or donations, I'm sure that would be, you know, um, I greatly appreciate yeah. it. I'm sure, yeah. uh, uh, you know, that uh, if you can put some sort of information over here, yeah. Yes. Yeah. And, um, you know, so people can. Yeah, you know, contribute. contribute, yeah. Obviously, because of COVID and furlough and all the other stuff that's been going on the last few years, it's delayed it. But the good news is there will be a headstone and we'll uh, take a last look. So there you go folks, uh, just a short video on uh, the unmarked grave of Nancy Degas, the, uh, na the uh, nanny of the Bronte sisters. It's a bit of a sad sight to be honest, um, it's like a pauper's burial, unmarked, but uh, it's a bit unsafe at the moment, hopefully in the new future there'll be official presentation an official headstone and you can all come and visit but for now i'll see you on the next vlog peace out